Look, there will be a vigil to honor a realtor. He was killed in a murder-suicide in Portsmouth on Friday. Soren Arno Schlegel worked for Long & Foster. Last week, he was supposed to meet with a client. That client ended up killing the realtor before killing himself. This incident has some realtors on high alert, as you can imagine. Chelsea Donovan, a reporter at our sister station in Norfolk, talked to a realtor today about safety precautions she takes before meeting a client. He was meeting his client at a house that he just bought in Portsmouth when the unthinkable happened. Police believe Hampton Roads realtor Soren Arn Olschlegel was allegedly shot dead by his client, 84-year-old Albert Bagnoli, Friday evening. Very shocked. It's always sad when someone that, you know, is within your circle as realtors were family. The death of the 41-year-old vibrant real estate agent has sent shockwaves through the local real estate community, says Yvonne Covey, a realtor with Rose and Womble in Norfolk. Whether you knew them or not, and something tragic like this happens, you tend to go back over your safety precautions. Crimes against realtors aren't all that rare. According to a survey published last year by the National Association of Realtors, 23% of members reported working in fear. 60,000 members in a single year reported to be victims of violent crimes against them, including assault, rape, or even murder. When things do happen in our industry like that, it does make us take a step back and look back over, you know, what we would have done um, in a situation like that. Covey, who's been an agent for four years, has a laundry list of things she and others do, whether it be at a showing or an open house with a client. I always meet my client at the office first, safety first, and you meet them in a public place, check their ID to be pre-approved before you know, so that way you know that they are legitimate and looking for a home. When at a home, she enters last. Always let them go in first and you be kind of behind them, you know, even if they go upstairs, things like that. Just so that way you know your surroundings at all times. She also carries protection. I have mace with me that I do carry at all times. It's on my keys that I take in with me. She says it's important to let several people know where you are and even have them check in. Uh, I have someone text, my business partner will text me um, or call me in the middle of a showing just to make sure things are okay. And she always has an escape plan. I do look at all of the entrance exits, different windows, um, where things are.